Uriah, thank you, man. It's always good talking to you, and good luck. Good luck. It's nice to see you competing again. Yeah, my pleasure, man. And check out uh, Fight Pass. That's where it's going to be held as well. Um, you know, that's where I caught up on the quintet, uh, the history of the last two quintets. Super entertaining and very unique. So only Sakuraba could think of something like this. Yo, Uriah, Uriah, really quick. I know you're about to go, and I, this just hit me just now. Did you see uh, your buddy Snoop Dogg's comment on Darren Till and uh, Tyrone Woodley? No, I didn't see it. What did he say? I can't. I can't, they'll they'll be marching on me. I can't say all those n words. But he was yelling. <laughs> he was saying uh, he pretty much what he said about Connor uh, when Connor oh lost gosh, to uh, Mayweather when he was going I, off it like that. You know what's crazy? When that happened with Snoop, I I I sat down. I said, Snoop, what? I said, what, what are you trying to do? We're working for the UFC. <laughs> and he's like, Oh man, you heard that. I think he was just, you know, having a good time and caught in the moment. Yeah. I mean, he's, he's, he's a guy that's known for uh, speaking his mind and pulling no punches. So he says what he feels, and uh, it is what it is. He so, kept throwing you know, Donald it, Trump it, in it, there. <laughs> I think he thought yeah. that. Remember when Kobe brought his oh, Kobe, belt? Uh, I, Kobe I think King, he yeah. thought it might have been Kobe in there, yeah. to be honest. <laughs> Wait, so wait, what happened? Colby he's, Covington had gone to see Trump. Trump when he starts, when he starts uh, yelling, when, uh, when, when Tyron was on top, at landing elbows, and right before he put the darts on, he was just, you know, yelling, ah, you, and after he, after he, he was like, yeah, Donald Trump, mother, you know, what? Well, at least I can't say what he was saying, <laughs> but he was throwing, he was yelling Donald Trump in there for some reason, uh, so I'm thinking, he's thinking that this was Colby Covington on bottom or something that well, that brought that belt to the White House. I think that's what he was thinking. And he's yelling, fuck Donald Trump, but the American was winning. The, <laughs> the American was beating the British guy, so he was yelling, fuck Donald Trump, uh, while the American won. And I just don't like when it's over and he's calling him a punk bitch and this and that, because come on, man. I mean, God knows he'd be the bitch in there if he even went in there. Oh, my guys. God. I know he's your friend. I, I don't want to upset you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, hey. If if I were if I were in trouble for everything any of my friends said I'd I'd be uh, locked up a long time ago. I'm with was, you, buddy. I was guilty by association. <laughs> hey, speaking of that, I, I was in I was in uh, sitting in jail with your buddies. Remember that? I do. They came to go watch me in Canada, <laughs> and uh, all, one of them was my barber. At the border. <laughs> <laughs> they were in a jail cell at the border with Uriah when they, when oh, they went to go man. see me. I had a, I had I had I spent one night in jail my whole. <laughs> Uh, my whole life from my buddy getting a fight and that's all fleeing the scene after a night of, of, of fighting in an Indian casino yeah. and uh, spent a night in the drunk tank. And so when I go to the Canadian border to go see Matt Sarah versus GSB that the UFC's flying me out to, yeah. I don't have any, I don't have a record or anything, but they asked me at the border if I've ever, you know, spent a night in jail or something like that. And I said, uh, yeah, I did one time in 2004, you know, street fight. Oh, what were the details? So I'm like, okay, well, this shit right there. Next thing you know, I'm sitting there for 12 Man. hours with Sarah's two buddies, <laughs> and then they, they handcuff us, take us to a facility, oh. they feed us milk and white bread, and and then the drive us back to the airport and fly us home. But we had a good time. You know how your boys are, man. We had a good time BSing about you. And, was Greg, and, uh, you were in there with and, Greg the Barber. <laughs> my Barber was there. He uh, couldn't even give me my good luck fade. That might have. Yeah, I might have still had the belt if he would have made it in. What, what's he doing now? Your he's, barber. He's still a fucking barber. All right. But I imagine you don't talk <laughs> hey, to him dude, anymore. I didn't, no, I I didn't realize who I was talking to. I've been doing a bunch of media. I didn't realize who I was talking to till literally like about halfway through the conversation. What's up, boys? How are you? What? Wait, just just now you didn't? I didn't realize Wait. it was fucking you two dope. Well, you fucking, <laughs> you're right. You're right. You did not realize till just now that you're talking to me and Jimmy? No, till, 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 till a little bit, till like literally like halfway through the conversation. Because Ant just handed me the phone. Here's this interview. Here's that interview. Here's this interview. And just put it together when, I, when we start, when I start, I'm like, wait a second. I'm talking to my boys right now. Ah, oh, Uriah, you know we love you. <laughs> That's so funny, uh, I man. I appreciate it, bro. I know how it is yeah. with press, man. They just put you on and... Yeah, you're just doing the rounds. We had fun with you either way. Uh, you... Absolutely. <laughs> Dude, you guys are awesome, man. I love listening to you guys. Thanks. Right. Well, we'll see you soon, pal. It's really good to talk to you. Yeah, you're right. Good All luck right, with that, man. Have fun with that match on October 6th. Hey, on top got, of, hey, what is that? October hey, can, 5th. Hey, hey yeah. Sarah, congratulations on your boy. Oh, uh, Aljo, uh, huh? That was great, Aljo, dude. Bro, what, what a cool move. And I could just hear you screaming the whole time. I'm like, that's my boy Sarah. I was so <laughs> happy. You know how that is in the corner. You, lo you love your guys. Oh, I'm, I'm on cloud it's nine awesome. still. Thanks so much, Uri. Yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah.
Congratulations, guys. All right. All right. Take care, Uriah. Take care, Uriah. Bye. Ah, who doesn't it's love funny, it's funny because I didn't realize I was talking to you two dopes. <laughs> That's funny. Well, I mean, people like us, Jimmy. We're very popular. I've seen a lot of people when I was over there at, uh, in Dallas. A lot of people watching this, listening to this podcast. I hope podcast, so. Unless they're bullshitting me. No, I don't think so. You know? But uh, let's talk about the champ real quick. We want to talk about also, uh, so uh, Tyron Woodley, I know I had him picked. Yeah, Jim, you had Tyron by fourth round knockout. Okay. Uh, Matt, you had gone with Darren Till, third round knockout. How dare I? And I had gone with Tyron, second round knockout, which I was like, so close. You but were very I'll close. Take the Darcy Can I just too. say that, uh, so I seen Tyron, and he's with my buddy Dean Thomas, and I seen him at the weigh-ins, and oh, you're thinking Jimmy uh, does, Jimmy just thinks I don't love him, and this and that, that. So, he, <laughs> so he gave me a nice hug, and this and that, you know? I'm like, oh, what a warm guy. Who, Tyron, yeah. Yeah, you know? So then Jimmy... Later on, I'm walking around, and somebody goes, yo, you got something on the back of your shirt. I go, what do you mean? He put his podcast sticker of, <laughs> of Tyrone Woodley, the champ, put D's Nuts sticker. He put D's Nuts on my back. How dare you, champ? That's a great move. How di- Listen, actually... He could have done it to Darren Till, too. <laughs> it was fucking awesome. Yeah. It was awesome. No, listen, I was shocked... I thought it was somebody else, one of Aljo's cousins or something. I'm like, you guys, some wise ass hangs out with. I'm going to get that motherfucker. And then I found out it was a champ. I go, Todd Woodley, how could you? And I, and here I am questioning his stand-up comedy ability. Because right. I heard he did stand-up comedy. And I'm thinking, listen, this guy can't be funny. I ta- How about this? I take it back. He fucking got me. He got me good. The champ got me. Okay, but listen, let's get back. That's not the. That's not why he should be applauded. Listen, Darren Till, holy shit, man, Jimmy, I didn't. If you would have said first, uh, was it second round, right? Yeah, it was the second, second round, round sub. Yeah. Wow, I was, I was questioning the strategy because I'm like, man, he's gonna. Because if anything, I don't know about him expending this much energy. I'm talking about the champ looking to put Darren, 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 Darren on his back. Because he looked, it wasn't happening right away. He actually got him there with the uh, yeah. that right hand. Yeah. But um, I'm like, he's wasting a lot of energy doing that, man. I'm worried about these later rounds. I don't know what they see. Have we ever seen Darren Till on his back before? Have we? I don't think so. No. Not against uh, Wonder so. Boy. Not against Cowboy. What yeah. a what a a ballsy move by the champ. I'm going to say Dean Thomas. I'm going to say Duke Rufus. I'm going to say his camp. <laughs> To come up with this strategy, uh, we gotta get we gotta get him back on. I want to talk to I want to talk to the champ. I want to know that strategy now that it's over. Did, that was the game plan. He came on much more aggressive too. A hundred percent, much I, more aggressive. Can I be honest with you? I was leading up to this thing. I was like, oh, these, I hope I hope it's not a a a, a counter striker like versus counter striker type of thing where each guy's not afraid to engage. I was that's that in the back of my head. I was was worried about that. You know what I mean? Um, wow, was I wrong? And I can't say enough about the champ. I, I love the way he stretched, uh, switched up the strategy. It threw me off for sure. And I, you know, getting ready to critique it if shit was going south, but fucking eat my words. He did phenomenal. And, uh, wow. I, and now with Darren Till too, uh, what what is this is this is this Darren, I think showing came, a glare a, a big hole in that game? Yeah, I also think that he came out so aggressive too because you know again Till's fighting for the championship first fight in the U.S. There's no way he's not nervous on some level, and I think Tyron wanted to exploit that and not give him time to settle. That's my guess. Not give him time to settle in. Not give him time to whew, take a breath and enjoy so, the moment or feel the moment yeah. or get used to the moment. Tyron just came out like a fucking like just a, an animal right yeah. after him. No no yeah. m- no room. Darren? And he gave him no room. Well, which is the strat. That, that's yeah. what I was saying. Like, if if Till could stay at range, that's where he's the most dangerous. But Tyron obviously was able How to get. Does anybody it on un- him. underestimate Tyron Woodley? I mean, first of all, the range is the same. I mean, they have yeah. the same fucking range. Yeah. And again, there's this illusion that he's bigger. He's not. I right. I wonder. I wonder what's going to happen now. I want to see who. Da- I want to see Darren versus another. I want to see him versus a powerful grappler. Let's see what happens there. Who do they put him against next? Whatever happened? Where's our boy? Um. Uh, shit, man. It, uh, what's his name? It, the, the, from from Sweden, not from Sweden. He's he does the karate and also he's black belt in jujitsu. Gunnar Nelson. Gunnar Nelson. Yeah, Jimmy. wasn't he hurt? Yeah, he. Good, I want to say he had knee surgery. Where has he been? Something like that. He's number thirteen. Well, yeah, where he, has he been? I he like was him. supposed to fight 
uh, I would Neil Magny, but he got oh. injured, right? I think going into that fight. So he, his, fa- his father's a, 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 a part of the UFC unfiltered army. Yep. <laughs> yeah, he had, a, he had a knee injury. <laughs> they were that. supposed to yeah. fight back in May. So, Do you want to see Kamaru Usman against Till, or does Kamaru go right for uh, Woodley? I guess it all depends on what Colby Covington well, does. What's going on with Colby? I think Colby deserves a shot, man. Yeah, well, he Colby, Colby called the, you know, Called out Woodley right after the fight, and oh, you know, so I mean, he he'll be ready. I think he wants to fight in, in November. Yeah. At the I end think of the they, year, but. they, I think because he had the that interim title, they're gonna have to have him. Next. Yeah, have or to. else it's only right. Man. I Come mean, Kamar. I mean, what about Kamar Usman versus Darren Till now? Shit. Yeah. Right? Yeah, it could be. I mean, Till might, Till might go up, though. That's the thing. I mean, although he said he made the weight cut real easy, he weighted 169. 169, but he still might consider going up if there's a fight at 185. So, Maybe. We'll yeah. see. Well, I mean, but yeah, but I, I want to. See, I definitely want to see Kobe fight. I, I do, too. Yeah. I want to see Kobe against You're not Gorilla. You're a Ding Dong. You met King Kong. Snoop Dogg, shut the fuck up. <laughs> How about that? Uh, Jimmy, I'm sorry. I know he's your friend. I you know, know I, No, I met him twice. I, I never he's met nice him. I, I don't want to meet him. Well, he's a nice guy. Listen, maybe he had the whole thing mixed up with the whole politics and he took it to heart. But I do know this. And this is one thing I do know and I put money on. What he said about Connor and what he said about Darren Till calling them punk bitches and this and that. If he was in the cage locked with either one of them. He would be the punk bitch. Yeah, well, everyone Jimmy. knows that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I just like to put that on record. Uh, can I say, uh, I, I don't know if you guys saw these fights or not. I mean, I just wanted to uh, congratulate Jim Miller. He's the first fighter. Oh, my God. Oh, 30th oh, fight. 30 at, fights, and he looked incredible. Devastating. Looked great, yeah. oh, oh, and shoot, I, I almost forgot to mention Diego Sanchez also. Yep. Oh, oh, my absolutely. God. I was so I domination. Was, listen, man, I was so happy. I was uh, First of all, Jimmy Miller. Holy shit, man. How yeah. quick was that, though? That was that uh, was a minute and a half into the yeah, first Man, I would, I'm just so, I mean, not just because these guys are old school guys and you know, they were around when I was around. It's nice to see. It's nice oh, yeah. to see, especially guys who had a string of some tough fights and they were still just, you know, they're warriors. And it's nice to see them get that victory. And then Diego uh, Sanchez, that's another guy I was just so happy for, you know, and what a dominating fight. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the guy kissed him at the weigh-ins. He was a nice kid. He was in our, our locker room. Yeah, that's Craig White. Yep. Yeah. Uh, but wow, did Diego make that look look easy i mean they, they, and then uh the, you know the takedowns which just I and mean, that was like the diego of old yeah go in there and pose your grappling you know and uh throw strikes when needed but then just just what an and, animal he was yeah, he, he did so great I, and i'm so happy for him and what a nice guy both guys uh, it, it was it was amazing